is Ty from 10thumbspro.com coming at you with another lesson and today we're doing Trees by 21 Pilots. You guys voted for this one a lot and now it's finally here. Needed a little bit of time to really listen to it and dedicate it to it but I got the finger picking pattern down, the chorus down, and I'm going to show you some tricks because you're going to be jumping from way up here to way down here. So I'm going to show you a couple tips to make that transition a little easier. Alright, remember, we're doing 21 Pilots every other Friday. Vote below, let us know the ones that you want to learn, and then we are going to make that decision based on your votes. My tongue's a little fat today. All you need to learn this one is that ukulele brain attention span. If you have those three things, follow us in and let's break this lesson down. Real quick, Skype Lessons 101. If you're interested, go ahead and contact me as well as become a Patreon. It starts with just a dollar creation, caps as low as a dollar a month. You get a PDF, print out, tabs, lyrics. Make learning so easy, so much easier. But you don't need those things to learn. All you need is the ukulele brain attention span. Got those three. Follow me on into the trees. Let's do this. Okay, so while we might not exactly be using the chords in every second and every moment of the song, um, the riff will ro rotate around these chords, so I think it's a good idea to be familiar with them. Plus, you're going to need them to strum them in the chorus. You get an F sharp, major, B, D sharp minor. And those are the three chords that make up the uh, verse and the bridges and the intro and all that. And in the other progression, you're going to see a C sharp minor, okay? So, most of it's finger picking. So let's go ahead and look at that pattern. It looks like this. And that happens two times in the intro, and it also repeats itself four times in the verse. Um, it's the outro to the chorus. It repeats itself four times in the instrumental bridge in the middle of the song. It's pretty much, yeah, important, you could say. So let's go ahead and get it and figure it out. You could either use your ring finger or your pinky here on the ninth fret of the A string, all right, which is an F sharp note. What you're going to do is you're going to put your middle finger up here on the 8th fret of the G string. Okay, and so these two notes are actually functioning like our D sharp minor chord up here because we have an F sharp and an E flat or a D sharp, two notes that are in this chord. So what we've done is we've taken just two notes of the chord and we've made a finger picking pattern out of it. So that's something that you could steal from Tyler and actually put in your own um, songwriting if you want. You know, you have a chord progression, you can just take two notes out and kind of make a finger picking pattern. And we're going to continue that. The next one implies a B chord and it's going to be the pointer finger on the 7th fret right here of the E string. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. Then you're going to take that same pointer finger and drop it down to the 6th fret. And here we are implying the F sharp major chord with the six and the octave, one and two and three and four and, and it happens again, one and two and three and four and. So we put all that to together nice and slow, it sounds like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. But the tune's quite a bit faster than that. It sounds a little more like this. Okay, so now you've just played it two times in a row. That's enough for the intro. Feel good. Be able to do that two times in a row fluently and smoothly. Start slow and build up speed. Once you get it two times in a row, you're ready to try to play it four times in a row. Because four times in a row is the verse. So let's put the lyrics up and let's go ahead and run through the verse one time together. With the goal being four times in a row. Here we go.
actually the hardest part in the song, I think, is to go from that jump, from the finger picking, to the verse. So the last time through, sometimes what I do is I do something like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and... And I find that's going to make the change from the finger picking to the chorus, which is what we're about to learn now, much easier. Now that's your choice. You can play through the whole thing just like the song. But if you find that change a little long and difficult, like I do, <laughs> then you can just go one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three. And okay, and then we go into the chorus. Now in the chorus, you're going to play the same amount of time over the F sharp minor, and the strum pattern is going to be one and. So you're just going to go down, up, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And the idea is to try to keep the same time that you had with the. Um, with the finger picking pattern, you want it to be the same kind of rhythm. So we're gonna go one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and to the B. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and to the D sharp minor. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So let's just do that together so far. Okay, and then the next one's going to be split in half, 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and F sharp major, and then to C sharp, 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. So it goes 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and, 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. Okay, so let's go ahead and play through that nice and slow together one time. 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and, 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and, 1 and 2 and Three and four and one and two 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 and three and four and. And then the next four bars are going to be D sharp minor for two bars, B for two bars, F sharp for two bars, and C sharp for two bars. So that nice and slow looks like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and now the same thing from that C sharp you're gonna go back to the finger picking and that transition could be a little difficult so sometimes I go one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and to make that transition a little easier so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put up the lyric. Well, let's go ahead and just play through the whole course together nice and slow. Again, that pause is up to you because it doesn't pause in the song. That's your choice. So I'm going to go ahead and put the chorus up and play through the chorus, and then we're going to go right back into that finger picking pattern, all right? So the chorus with the lyrics looks like this. It's going to be a little more up to speed, right? So you get it. That's the idea. Those are all the pieces. Um, if there's the bridge, if any time that it's not the chorus, you'll just be using that finger picking pattern over and over again. And then I showed you those little tricks that I do with the pauses to help the transition a little bit. But again, that's just something I do. You can play all the way through that if you can get a smooth transition. All right. It's just a tricky jump to go from here all the way down to here. All right. Trees. 21 Pilots. 
10thumbspro.com. Until next time, rock and roll. Love, peace, and chicken grease. Take care, everybody. Oh, yeah, become a Patreon. Grab a PDF. Just a dollar creation, caps the lowest dollar a month. Take care. All right, everybody, so that was it. Trees. I hope you liked it. So just think about it, remember that there's a chord fragments, pieces of chord making some cool kind of tiny chords, tiny dance chords, and that's how he does it if you want to apply it to your own songwriting. Okay everybody, until next time, keep on rocking and rolling, keep loving life, keep on playing ukulele, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.